So Guido, thank you very much for agreeing to do the interview. The first thing I want to talk to you about is your um, your filmmaking career, really. Um, how did you start making films? Uh, well, it's quite a long story. I'll make it short. Uh, I made my first film when I was about 10 years old. Uh, that was by the World Exposition in Brussels, which is in 1958. 58. So my father gave uh, me his camera and it was a normal 8 at the time. Uh, and then afterwards I changed to Super 8 to 16mm. Uh, and then uh, in 2004, I think, yeah, about that, I uh, made uh, films in digital. And uh, yeah, that's about it, yeah. How did you learn? I just learned by doing, and I must say I was in uh, Holland, uh, when at the time I lived in Holland and uh, I was in a club there. Uh, it was the Haarlemmer Small Film Liga, I think. And there were very good filmers, but they were very critical. And I learned quite a lot because uh, I can have a lot of critics. I am not very upset with critics and I think uh, with critics you just learn to make better films. But is it true, my feeling is that it's, it is also important to have your own opinion so the critics don't destroy you? No, but in critics I mean uh, when people uh, are honest and uh, they try to learn you something, uh, then you can make something out of your film, but still it's your own product. So you decide, in fact, uh, what you like and what you don't like. So it's not that I take all the critics into my film, but I'll take those critics which I think are reasonable and where I can make something better out of the final product. Ah, that's good, yes. The types of films that you make, I think they are mainly when you are traveling, mm -hmm. doing quite adventurous um, uh, holidays, mm -hmm. but you also sometimes make other things, yes? Uh, yes, well sometimes for Unica we made together with Vito La Balestra a small film promoting Unica uh, and I make some small other films uh, where I use people but uh, these are not for big festivals. I'm better, I think, in documentaries and especially uh, uh, documentaries where people are uh, important. People who live in a certain country, in a certain uh, environment. And of course I love to make uh, nature films because uh, nature is, is a fascinating thing and uh, every day you can find new subjects uh, uh, in nature to make a good film. The film that won the best documentary here in Bia, Living with the Flood, is um, a nature film, as you know, of course, but um, it looks as though it could have taken a very long time to make. Did, did it? Uh, no, I'm, I'm very pleased with uh, the comment that certain people uh, asked me how many times did I go to the Pantanal to make this film. Uh, and uh, that is not the case. Uh, I went there together with my wife uh, for five days in total, but I asked uh, a man who we know who lives there uh, uh, to show me places so that I can uh, simulate the situation over eight months of time. So it means that uh, the flood comes in, then the water goes down and uh, the animals get uh, to wait till the next flood and that brought me also to the idea to use the title uh, because I think in the Pantanal it's a unique system which is not influenced I think to the climate changes. Uh, because they have always had these changes of uh, high water and no water so that the climate change has not so much influence on this kind of bio uh, system. How much preparation do you do before you go to one of these trips? Oh, uh, do you know what you are going to film? 
yes, we read. So we, I think, uh, Susie, my wife, and myself, we uh, read a lot about uh, a certain place where we go. We try to put uh, some themes on uh, on the paper, and based on these themes, we try to uh, take as many scenes as possible. The ma majority of the work is afterwards by uh, cutting them and making out of four, five, six hours of film, a ten-minute film. I think that amateurs should not go over 15 minutes of uh, film to make a good film where they can keep the attention of the public uh, for a certain time. Has living with the flood um, had success in other places yet? Uh, yes, it uh, won the first prize in Holland and in Luxembourg it's also in the first prize and it's going to Unica. Now I hope that uh, it won't be a disappointment in Unica in Zeist in, in Holland, uh, my half home country. Uh, so uh, yes, it is a film that speaks to the people and I think that the story that I try to tell has been uh, uh, taken as a story that uh, uh, tells you what's happening over a, a, a longer period of time. Do you um, use the same voices for commentaries each uh, time? No. No, because uh, we uh, make uh, also evenings where we show the different films and uh, we have learned that when you use always the same voice, although it's a good voice that I have in the uh, Living with the Flood, uh, if you have five, six films with the same voice, it gets a little bit uh, um, annoying uh, in a certain way. So what we try to do is to find friends who uh, have a good voice and uh, we'll try to bring them in. So we try not to use the same voice all the time. With your knowledge of different languages, you are able to adapt your films, I imagine, quite easily. Is it, is it an easy process for different languages? Uh, <laughs> Well, I must say that uh, I have good friends uh, uh, like Michael Goff who uh, brings in some of uh, his uh, corrections in my English. So what we do, I write uh, mostly the text in French and then afterwards we'll make a German version and I have a very good friend who makes my version in German in the real German and I have Michael who changes my English in real good English and that's very important. But it's important also that uh, some of the uh, emotional uh, stuff comes over in the language and that is the real big problem. My mother tongue is Flemish, is, is Dutch. Uh, and uh, we have of course a certain uh, number of words which say perhaps the same thing but in your own language you feel them as differently. So uh, the m most important thing in getting to another language is to express the emotions in your language and therefore you need almost always a mother tongue who uh, corrects uh, these kind of small things. That's probably very useful for a lot of people who are beginning to send their films to other countries. Do you find um, any particular countries and festivals the most receptive to your films? Well, it depends. If, we, uh, if I make a, a, a film about nature, I try to send it in to a German festival, which is very good. It is in the north of uh, Germany, in near Hamburg. And uh, uh, very often the comments that I receive from that festival, I try to rework them into my film and make them a French version. And it's very funny sometimes that the same film is completely uh, is seen completely differently in uh, different countries because uh, every country has its way of uh, uh, appreciating certain views, which uh, are perhaps not the same in Germany or in, in or in Britain or in France. And but that is perhaps also the strong point. If you have a film which is shown in different countries, uh, you can 
arrive very high in the qualification as you can become uh, at the bottom of uh, qualification. That's uh, for me not very important where I am. What is important for me is to receive critics, to understand why people say this is a good or a, a bad film. And that is very much depending on the countries where I show my films. Are you still finding it um, easy to get inspiration for new films? Oh yes, yes. There's plenty of inspiration on the street. That, that's not... I don't think that's the problem. I think the creativity is in making the story out of it. I always, I always try uh, to tell a story. Uh, it's not, I, I don't like inventory films. Films where you show all these animals with uh, the Latin names and, and, and scientific things. Uh, because uh, you see uh, the BBC makes extremely good films and we as amateurs, we can never cope with this. So what I try to do is tell my own story about uh, nature, how I see it, how I feel it. Uh, and, and for that, yeah, it, it happens every day. It happens on what you film and what you see. That's a great answer.